to Lesson 8-7, Multiply Mixed Numbers. Please write your I can statement on your paper. I can use models, equations, and previously learned strategies to multiply mixed numbers. So basically in this lesson, you're going to get the opportunity to pick and choose what strategy works best for you to solve the problem. Your nightly solve and share says, look at the ingredients needed to make Jose's, or sorry, Josie's special pancake. So the recipe is down here. And it says, how much pancake mix and milk, how much pancake milk mix and milk will you need if you want to double the recipe? I'm gonna box double because that's gonna be important. And then how much pancake mix and milk will you need to triple? the recipe, and I'm gonna box triple because that's going to be important. So we're focusing on pancake mix and milk, and we wanna know how much we need if we're going to double, which means we're gonna to need to take it times two, both the pancake mix and the milk, but also how much we're going to need if we want to triple, and triple means to take times three. So we're gonna be doing, um, quite a few things in this problem, and we're gonna be using all of the strategies that you've learned. So we're first gonna evaluate the problem to double. So I'm gonna take two and one fourth times two to figure out how much pancake mix we'll need when we double. And I'm going to take one and two thirds times two to figure out how much milk we will need when we double it. So from the previous lessons, you know that when you have a mixed number, like two and one fourth, we need to make it improper in order to multiply. So we're gonna take four times two, which is eight, plus one, which is nine. So now we have nine fourths times two. We know when you're multiplying it by a whole number, you're gonna put a one underneath it because that's not gonna change the value of the whole number. And then you're gonna multiply the numerators together. Nine times two is 18, and four times one is four. So we know that 18 fourths is an improper fraction, so we need to change it into a mixed number. To do that, you're going to follow this equation. So we're going to have the numerator, we're gonna take 18 and we're gonna divide it by four. So four goes into 18 four times, Four times four is 16. We subtract that and we get two as a remainder. So we have four remainder of two. Well, your denominator, once it's the same, stays the same, stays the same, so that will be four. So now we have four remainder of two fourths. We can simplify that since they're both even numbers. We can simplify that by two and we will get four holes and two goes into two once and two goes into four twice. So we will need four and a half cups of pancake mix when we double the recipe. And now we need to figure out how much milk we need. So we're gonna do the same thing. If it's a mixed number, we're gonna have to make it improper before we can multiply. So three times one is three, plus two is five. So we have, five thirds times two. When you multiply by a whole number, you place a one underneath it because that's not gonna change the value of it. And then five times two is 10 and three times one is three. So now we have 10 thirds. That is improper, so we need to change that into a mixed number. So we're going to divide 10 by three and three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract that and we get a remainder of one. Once your denominator is the same, it stays the same, so it's going to be three. So that mixed number is three and one third cups of milk. So when we double the recipe, I'm gonna write that up here. So when we double um, pancake mix, we will need four and one half cups. And the milk, we will need three and one third cups. That is doubled. So now we need to triple the recipe. 
to change my color. And when we triple a recipe, that means we're going to have to take it times three because we're going to have to use three two and one fourth cups to triple it. So we're going to take that times three. And then we're going to take the milk times three in order to triple. So when you multiply a mixed number, you have to make it improper first. So four times two is eight plus one is? nine fourths times three and you need to make that a fraction so you're going to place a one underneath it to have the whole number keep its value as three holes then you multiply nine times three is 27 and four times one is four so that's improper that's a mixed that's an improper that we need to change into a mixed number. So I'm going to do that up here. I'm kind of running out of room. So 4 goes into 27 six times. 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract that and we get 3. So we have 6 remainder of 3. Your denominator is going to stay the same as 4. So this mixed number would be 6 and 3 fourths. Um, cups of pancake mix when you triple the recipe. Now when we um, need to see how much milk we need when we triple the recipe. So when it's a mixed number, we need to make it improper before we can multiply. So three times one is three plus two is five. And we have five thirds times three. When it's a whole number, you're going to place a 1 underneath it so we don't change the value. So 5 times 3 is 15, and 3 times 1 is 3. That is improper, and I know 3 goes into 15 five times, so we will need 5 cups of milk when we triple the recipe. So when we triple the recipe, we need 4 and a half cups of pancake mix and 3 and one third cups of milk when we double the recipe. When we triple the recipe, when we look at that question, we will need six and three-fourths cups of pancake mix and five cups of milk. I could do this all day long. This is a lot of fun. Okay, so let's look at Roger's work. And he got four and a half cups of pancake mix when he doubled and three and one-third cups of milk. We, re we got that too. When we tripled, he needed six and three-fourths cups pancake mix and five cups of milk. Woohoo! Go, Roger. Go, Mrs. Tim. Now we're going to look at Marie's. It says, what operation does Maria use to solve the problem? She used repeated addition, and that is another way. You could have added um, each number twice together, two and one-fourths plus two and one-fourths, and then simplified, or you could have added it three times together. And maybe you chose to use repeated addition. So in the summary section, I want you to write down the method that you chose and, and maybe why you chose that method, whether it was repeated addition or multiplication. We do know that that goes together. You can add it or you can multiply it. Multiplication and addition works together. Um, please write the word red at the top of your paper for your focus word today, and I will see you tomorrow.